Hello everybody, this is the Films of Bensi Entertainment here with some public opinion about James Rolfe around his Monster Madness plagiarism controversy. Now I may not even know them personally, but I feel like I know enough of an opinion to even discuss it. I feel enough to know what's happened, and I've seen what's happened, I think. I have made some comments publicly, and I wanted to present them to you all. Now, I may not remember what I have said, but there is at least one person who has responded positively, and I'll try my best to translate this whole thing as much as I can onto a video. Some people might say some negative things, but that's alright, this is just a video. James Rolfe is known for Angry Video Game Nerd, as well as Monster Madness. And it seems like he's very focused on his family as well as his children. I'm sure he feels the same way about his character, the angry video game nerd who was played by himself. I think most of you knew that, but I feel like bringing that up. He probably views everything and takes care of everything like his children, who are his family, of course. So if he has yet to give up the angry video game nerd, it's like giving up his family or his children. I'm sure he took care of the angry video game nerd the same way he took care of his children as well as family. If he wants to move on from the angry video game nerd, he'd better be ready to do that if he's ready to move on from his children. I'm sure he's not ready to do that yet. Please do not even misinterpret this, but I'm sure that's how he feels. I'm sure he will only move on if he wishes to. You guys just need to... Wait, let me look at her. Roll children and Angry Video Game Nerd creation by James Rolfe as an analogy and an allegory. So try to view it as that, okay? You guys need to realize what he's been going through with his personal life, but not get too deep into it because that'd be going way too personal. Now remember, I don't personally know him, but I'm just trying to help here. Especially when he doesn't have enough time anymore every year. Especially when Halloween comes around every year. Now, I know that word time comes around a lot, when, especially when it has to do with the Monster Madness controversy. But I'm serious. He doesn't have time every year for Monster Madness and Halloween, which is probably devastating for him. But try to understand what that's like for him. He's a creator. He's got an angry video game nerd. The children, his family, especially Monster Madness and, you know... Halloween. It's gotta be hard. I don't even know how well of a job I did with this video. Now, last time I did something like this, I was criticized for basically um, not doing a very good job because of how the video was presented. Now, I hope I did a good job. I don't know if I did, but hopefully I did. No, I don't even know. We'll find out, right? Now, yeah. Yeah. 